you tell me when I'm around you I get nervous and when I get nervous I get irritated what the hell is that supposed to mean girl like what you talking about Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jennifer Ross coming to you with another video. And as you can tell by the setup, this is another story time once again. I can't help it guys. I am in a very happy place right now in my life, but I've just been through a lot of things before I got to this place. So I have a lot to tell you guys. I have a lot that I can share with you guys and why not? So let's just get started. This is my story time from when I got into a fight at a church. Let's go. So before we start with the story time, I want to put a little disclaimer out there. I am a believer. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I love Jesus. I read the Bible. I pray every day. I live as good as I can. I try to be a good person. I try to help other people as much as I can. So this has nothing to do with religion. I am a religious person, but I keep my religion to myself as much as possible. I don't force my religion up on anybody. So yes, I am a believer. A lot of people don't even know. Even my boyfriend makes fun of me for being religious or when I have my religious little moments. Um, he always makes fun of me because it's not that clear that I am a believer and that I am a religious person. So this is no shame to the church that I'm going to talk about or to anybody in this video or whatever. It's just my story. It's not to make fun of anyone. So yes, where do we start this? Once upon a time, I was single before I met Benny. I've been through a lot of crazy things. So here we go again. One time I was at a point in my life that I partied a lot. I also had a lot to do for school. Yeah, I, I was just basically partying the whole time from Thursday to Sunday. And then at a certain point, I got tired of partying that much. I was at parties and wondering like, what the F am I doing here? You know, I'm just wasting sleep. I should be studying, but I wasn't. So I was basically failing in school, doing bad and on top of that i started watching a lot of american tv shows that were very entertaining but also very addictive so i was basically watching all types of tv shows i was watching pretty little liars and by the time that i started watching all these tv shows i they were already rolling for a very long time so there were like you know seven seasons of every tv show that i started to watch so i had a lot to watch and i was basically binge watching all these tv shows at one time you know so i still have my responsibilities i had to go to school i had you know papers to do exams stuff like that to do but i was just wasting my time watching tv shows midterms were approaching and i had to do the work because you know i was basically failing in a lot of things and i was basically pulling all-nighters 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 so <laughs> with that being said i was just studying one night and um it was basically the middle of the night i think it was two o'clock or something like that it was late everybody was sleeping in my building um but i was awake studying and stuff so i lived at the yeah the, the main floor i lived at the main floor um and i heard a car pulling up close to my window so i just shoved my with my curtain to look who it was a few minutes later the person who was in the car stepped out of the car and he knocked on my window but i, re I already saw that it was a neighbor of mine so Previously to that I never spoke to him so we were basically you know having a little small talk and he was asking me what I was doing I told him like yeah well I'm studying and blah 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 you know and stuff like that and then um, then that night I met him he was to be honest a very cute guy uh, but his birthday was I think one day before me so he was basically a person who was like very similar to me he was just basically me but in a man type of way we were never i was never interested in him because he always found a way to put up a mirror for me and you know to tell me my truth and i didn't really like it because 
he would really touch on subjects that I didn't really wanted to talk about I did not like that because I was like you know what boy you don't know how hard my life is you, you don't know shit okay so don't come for me don't tell me nothing you cannot tell me nothing okay I didn't like it I was like why don't you just mind your business you know so back to the storyline one day I run into him outside of the building I didn't see him for a long time and we started talking and I told him like yeah what what have you been up to what you doing you know what's good what's 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 popping in your life and he started to tell me like yeah I've been um, into a church and I really love it and um, you should come one time if you if you feel like it and then meanwhile in my own life I finished the exams so I went back to watching a lot of TV shows again and I was basically spending a lot of days in my bed watching series watching movies I had to go to school if I had like serious obligations or errands then I would basically try to figure out a way to go home as soon as possible to watch more movies and series and stuff like that uh, that really started to in, have an impact on my own life because I basically was becoming depressed I was actually suffering from depression I didn't realize it at the time but looking back at it yes I was definitely depressed because that's not a way to go through life I started to look at myself differently I started to develop a lot of problems that weren't there but I just created a lot of problems for myself so I really started to feel bad and depressed i would spend some days like in between the tv shows just crying for no reason it was really weird and then i remembered you know hey my neighbor he told me about this church and maybe i should give that a try maybe it's just my connection with god maybe you know it's not the best at this moment and maybe that is the thing that is missing so I really wanted to fix my connection with God and I was like okay maybe when I have my connection fixed and that I'm at a good place with God that I make more time for him and stuff like that then I will feel at peace maybe you know I'll, I'll feel happy again because I was single for a very long time I I was alone a lot so it was loneliness that was getting to me but at the same time that has never been a problem before I was living it up and just enjoy being by myself so why did this become a problem all of a sudden I really didn't know I couldn't point it out why it was so I decided to tell my neighbor to that I wanted to go to church with him so the first Sunday we were going to church um, I have previously studied in America in Texas and there my host moms they took me to a church in that I never experienced before people were really singing and you know every every Sunday they would bring up a statement that you would discuss and you know you would really get uh, educated every Sunday so I was really excited for that every Sunday so um this church was basically the same so i i went there and i really liked it it was really fun uh we would like sing a lot of songs and it was amazing it was amazing so i really loved the church but then my neighbor um he would always like pick up other people that would go to the church too and we would basically carpool to the church and one of the girls that he would pick up he had like a, a group of girls that he would every Sunday he would pick them up and um, they would like carpool to the church so one day uh, I noticed that there was this one particular girl who was like very snobby and like you know very catty and like very mean <laughs> to me all the time I didn't it didn't bother me because for real if I wanted to date my neighbor I would have or I, I would have made an attempt to date him so I don't think that would have been a problem if I wanted that then I would have done that but I think you know with our birthdays one day apart I think we are very similar and we were just better off as friends so that's not an issue that's not a thing I'm just saying you know girl if I wanted your man I, I would have got your man but basically there was um a lot of 
couples in the church they got to know each other at the church so this girl was there to meet a person and my neighbor he was also very lost at the time I guess and he would also go to church to you know find God find re-establish his connection with God I don't know exactly I can't speak for other people why he was there or why he was going to church but he was going to church for his own reasons and the girl would basically go to church to in the hope of finding a guy there that she could marry and live you know her life i get that because a man of god is the person you want to be with i guess so i don't no shame to her i totally get it you know and i went to the church a few times but every time when we would go back home i noticed that this girl would be mean or would you know act very bitchy towards me and i couldn't pinpoint where the problem was then one day uh, we were in church again and um, doing our worship and stuff like that and my neighbor was crying he was crying like you know bleeding tears and I was like oh my god what's going on so I grabbed my purse I gave him a tissue and she was standing on the other side of him so I gave him a tissue I said like are you okay and he was like yeah yeah no I'm fine blah 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 I don't know and I you know I was basically wondering like okay I don't know what's going on but like I mean you know no problem anyway church ended I call this there was this little snack thingy in the church where you could get a little snack after church you could let get a little drink if you wanted to so i basically thought like you know what today i'm gonna buy a little snack after church i went to the restroom after the service and then i was on my way from the toilet to the little snack bar and this girl just stopped me on the way and said like hey I want to talk to you I was like okay and then she she told me like yeah well um, I don't know why you're here or what your story is but I have something to tell you I when I'm around you I get nervous and when I get nervous I get irritated I was like like girl what you talking about like why do we what's going on so i said like okay so you don't like me and you feel do you feel intimidated by me no i don't feel intimidated by you but, but sorry if you tell me when i'm around you i get nervous and when i get nervous i get irritated what the hell is that supposed to mean girl like what you talking about that's weird right so I was like okay this this bitch just got you know she's just coming for me for no reason and I told her like you know what girl if it's about the neighbor if it's about my neighbor you don't need to be worried you know you don't, don't need to be worried because I had several chances to date him if I wanted to and I didn't so is that is it about him no 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 that's not what it's about no not at all that's not what it's about it's just you 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 have a certain vibe around you that i don't like i was like okay well you know what i'm not here for drama i'm not here for anything i told her like you know what girl i don't know what the problem is that you have with me but i'm here for myself and why i'm here that's none of your damn business okay that's none of your damn business i'm not here for you or for my neighbor i'm here for me so we went back home and she was in the car with us and I just kept my silence the whole time. I didn't say a word. And even my neighbor said like, well, Jen, you're really silent back there. I didn't say a word. I was just astonished by that whole situation. He dropped off the girls and then we went home. He went upstairs and I went to my apartment. And I was thinking like, should I tell him what happened? Should I not tell him what happened? I didn't tell him what happened right away then i decided you know what i'm no longer going to that church uh, i shouldn't let other people ruin it for me but the thing is public transportation to that church was a pain in the behind i would literally have to wake up at six o'clock or something on a sunday morning to be there at 10 and i was just not willing to compromise all that for for that church you know so i was like you know what i'm just gonna stop going and whatever just uh, continue my relationship with God at home or find another church that I can go because 
I am there for me. I am there to re-establish my relationship with God. I am not there for drama. I am not there to take someone's boyfriend or to have girls talking and uh, about me and stuff like that. I'm, I'm just not there for that, you know? So I stayed home. I, I kept doing my little prayers at home. I didn't have a problem with that. I was fine at home by myself doing my little thing every Sunday and every day I would make time for God and you know talk to God and yeah you know get back to my good relationship with God. My neighbor would still ask me and send me a text every week like are you coming this Sunday to church and I would say no and then the next week he would ask me again and I would say no and then you know it kept going and going and at a certain point he did he, he stopped asking me because the answer was no all the time. So um, then I didn't see my neighbor for a very long time and then I ran into him again in the building and he was, I was, we was started talking, I said like, hey, long time, how are you, what have you been up to, what's up with the church? And he said like, well, yeah, um, I'm not really going to the church anymore. I was like, oh, why, what's going on, what happened? And he told me like, yeah, well, um, the girl, you know, mi little miss, she um, wanted to marry me and I, um, was also in for it to marry her but then at the same time um they were forcing that relationship up on me and i just wasn't ready so i yeah i got kicked out of the church i was very surprised but then i decided to tell him like you know what i never told you because i didn't see why i had to tell you but um, your little girlfriend, little Miss Tang, she, you know, she, she came up to me and she like, you know, she tried to pick a fight with me about you or something. And I basically told him what she said, like, yeah, when I get around you, I get nervous. And when I get nervous, I get irritated. And he was like, she did what? And she, yeah, that, that's really not okay. You should have told me, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, you know what, neighbor, I, I'm totally fine, I'm totally cool, my relationship with God is re-established, we are good, God and I are Gucci, you know, there's nothing going on between me and God, and that was the whole point of me going to the church, of course, I liked it, I liked the songs, I liked the worshipment, and, you know, I loved the church, I loved the way they bring the word, but I was just not there for the beef, I wasn't there for the problems, and I just simply didn't have time for that, so... I just excused myself from the situation that that's it so we ended up laughing this whole thing off um, I'm really happy for him that he didn't get married to the girl because I really believe that the only reason you should marry someone is love that should be the only reason and motivation to get married so I'm very happy for him I believe right now he is married to someone that he is very happy with they even have a baby together so I am very happy and excited for him and that also proves my point good things take time sometimes we get desperate we get unhappy but we also create problems for ourselves At that certain point in my life i was depressed and that was because of my own actions i was just staying in bed and doing nothing with my life so as long as you don't set goals for yourself and try as hard as you can to achieve your goals yes you can certainly definitely get depressed and not having a boyfriend being alone and stuff like that it, it can really you know take a toll on your life so yes I want to say with this story time like stay positive life is gonna test you you will uh, be challenged a lot before things clear up I am very surprised by the way my own life has unfolded and I'm very very happy in the relationship that I am in right now I appreciate my boyfriend boyfriend for everything I mean he is my best friend he is my boyfriend and we are so good together um, he motivates me to do all the things that I want to do and he helps me to achieve my goals and the same the same goes the other way around I help him a lot and I love him so so much I wouldn't want it any other way but yeah 
that's it for this story time you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you liked it if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and i hope to see you guys next time Mwah. bye guys